All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Red Dead 2. I'm over here by, what was it, Albert Cakes or some such? Let's see what he's, what he's got for us. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. Ha <laughs> ha, joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. <sighs> Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. Their skin is about we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. Do you want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these skinners can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devin, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. OK. I know the quickest way. Follow me. All right. You seem to be taking off there, Charles. Yeah. Off to go get us some tools. But you know, I, I would have thought you could buy us the place you buy the house from. Is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? Excuse uh, me? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. <laughs> Not sure. much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No, wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right, I'll do just that. Usually, maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Think you might be. <laughs> People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. What was that you were saying? Sounds like a goddamn I fool. I think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. 
Chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. What do you know about the Skinners? This tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. And he knows me. So we'll see if we can get him to give you some. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Okay. Like I said, Nils is a an acquired taste. Let Meaning, me he's a bit eccentric. Uh, there he is, working away. Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils? Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Whew. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Features hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. Oh shit! Whoa! Everyone find some cover! Well, looks like it was needed! Him. All right. You alive? For now. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. Is that the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grabbed Mr. Wayne. All right. You stay here. Guard the wagons. Charles, come on. Over here. All right. Here we go. Get some cover! You mean they drew us in! 
Yep. We have to get past them. They climbed up in the trees. Shoot the ones up back first. Okay, let's move. He took them down the hill. Oh shit. We walked into an utter shit shit. They're coming out of nowhere! He's got a knife! Don't hit him or keep him right. There we go. Get home. Back to the road. God damn it! A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? I don't think he did. Everyone knows. Except me. Later, John. I don't think he really knew what he was getting into. Charles, you all right carrying him? I got it. No use you get his money too. Is he? Is it bad? They opened him up pretty good. Nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them! Yeah. Mr. Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. Drop off the tools. Let's get the hell out of here. All right. Let's get out of here. Speed home. Oh, my lord. What'd they do to him? Nothing nice. Got it? Come on. We gotta go. Shit. Pop in, Charles. Goddamn animals. Okay. Jump. Whoa. Marston, drive easy. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to Beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something, too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. There was a caravan. A few months back. Massacred. Men, women, children. Ended up like Wayne. Or worse. Damn. They're just a group of psychopaths, really. Uncle! 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 I was... You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? 
Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town and get poor Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. That was insane. Uh, headshot all the Skinner brothers hiding in the tree, and only you sidearms. Okay. Good morning, brother. Hey, Charles. Good morning. Tell me, how's it going? All right. Don't mind me. All right. Let's sit. So, Uncle's got something for us. What's going on, old man? Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. Lumbago just means lower back pain, goddammit. building a house together. Let's do it.
let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter. Any weather. We're together. I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you, and that is I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? New Jerusalem. Look at this place. Oh, there was a time limit for that? And hammer and nail accuracy? How can you miss the hammer and nail? All you had to do was push a button. What's this? This is a fast travel map? Oh, Jesus, bright. Mr. Smith! Yeah? You doing good? I'm fine. Great. Sounds good, John. Oh no, this is the fast travel map. I can't take any beer? There we go. Almost feels like we're back at camp. Change clothing. Oh, 
know, some of these are nice. Some of them weird. Alright. Where did I get some of these hats from? That's new. Coats. And a bunch of other, what is a Thompson vest? Huh. ever add suspenders to this outfit. Spurs. Wait, I weapon equipment, boots. Wait, what's this? Oh wow. Or I can go shoeless. Wait, wait, wait. Satchels. Weapon equipment, gun belts. Primary holster. Upgraded. change the type of bandana I have? Oh no, just equip one. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever really explored this at all. Come here, girl. We can go find hey, Uncle. Yeah. Up, old man just one time I hope to find you working just once do you believe in reincarnation John Marston no well I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin so that when you're old and facing death I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave this is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Well, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. In the barn this time. I can't move like I used to. Then I never was that fast. Yeah, I know. You were at camp with us years ago. Into Blackwater. 
Let's go. Now this fella probably saw you. Thought here some corn. It's right to give. All right. So what was you saying? What were you saying? Doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> Uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Of course Let's you can. Let's get robbed again? <laughs> oh no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Well, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. But you still lay around like you're far too comfortable. We didn't have too much furniture at camp either. You preferred the ground. This is him. Morning. Hey, doggo. Hey, buddy. Hey, boy. <laughs> All right, in we go. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? Oh, I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're going to farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. A pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer and. I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but this man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I'm... You up for a fight? Is it legal? Oh, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at the painted sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. All right, sounds good. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. Everybody finds Uncle extremely annoying. All right, the painted sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's got to be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And Sounds we're going to get to him first. Sounds real good. Sadie. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. 
Mostly Mexicans? Some of them. But some is Californios. And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh, yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the Sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Yeah, I met him. Don't you get around. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about him. That's an understatement. That's I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, uh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched it. Bark the odd order at us. It's solid though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. Employees, you know, it's, huh? It's a wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. <laughs> well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Lord, all this right. This painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Oh. Of course, I get down just in time to, uh... To see my horse to shit. Holler if you get him. Come, Cortez! We've come for you. Come calmly and nobody will get hurt. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <clears throat> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. <clears throat> Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. Quick and easy We're bounty. Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. That hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. Just trying to bargain his way out of it. Too different. Still red and dusty. What, you proud of that iron or something? Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Bad out for all to see.
Why can't I grow? Why is it? There we go. Come on. Am I really stuck? Hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred. Three hundred for her head. Be quiet. I'm stuck. Oh my god, I'm stuck on the horses. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> <sighs> Hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas, we want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let him have it, boys. Hello, Okay. Not the last time. That uh we've had a shootout here in Rhodes. And it's probably not even the biggest. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Mount up. All right, let's grab him. You're a good girl now. Where are we going to find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. <laughs> he got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. One of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring Rhodes into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. 
He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez, we're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. Sounds good to me. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we it is. Take money from one, but not the other. But it's values that matter. What they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know, usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. I mean, there was a high price on everyone's head in the gang. All of them. Hold up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Anyway, you carry on. Down there, a fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I got, I got launched off of it. Sorry. I just uh cascaded off the road, that's all. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me? You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you? I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. All right, sniping again.
need some cover. Let's hit him hard. Alright, I'm right behind you, Sadie. Let's move. There we go. Shoot at the All bird. Right, there we right, go. Amigo. I'm coming. Try anything clever, you're gonna get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. Get out of there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I said, get out of there. Easy, easy, girl. Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. <sighs> hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down now! All right. Alright, I think they're clear. Are we good? Yeah. We might just be. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. <laughs> oh, you say well that, clear. but uh. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You're, you're a dead woman. And you, you're a dead man. The Lobos will not ever forgive this. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Anita Hang. You ain't good for sure. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold. $5,000! Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. Yeah. Oh, damn you, woman. Damn you. oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Oh, you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're going to come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna go for you! Well, yeah, yeah, I hope sure. they know just where to find me. 
because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Here we are, back again. Looks like. <laughs> and there's your carriage, sir. <laughs> The sheriff better move him quick this time. Oh, well, I big think mistake. he intends to. Real big mistake. I see you again. We got him, sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <clears throat> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver them. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Then, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, thank you so very much for joining me. When we return, we will see what else we can get up to. But I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all in a moment. Mm -hmm.